So we're at it again. We're actually doing another catch and cook for you guys. You guys have been liking the videos lately, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again. This time we're throwing a little bit of a twist in it. We're gonna be eating raw fish on this this trip. It's gonna be striper ceviche is what our goal is. To make this, we're getting the ingredients before we go fishing, and then when we catch one, we're gonna go ahead and make it out there and then eat it. So it's really a raw fish that we're gonna be eating. People writing me on Instagram saying it's their favorite kind of videos. So we're gonna go ahead and do another one, and uh, it should turn out great. We got Juju with us again. So. You guys have been loving him in the videos. And other than that, we're gonna go ahead and get to buying stuff right now. We just pulled up to the store. So we're gonna go into this Walmart right now. We're gonna get all the stuff we need. I already know in mind what we're gonna need. It's mainly gonna be onion, a tomato, some lemons, some cilantro, an avocado, and some garlic salt. We're here in the long line because we don't know how to do self checkout with all these vegetables, weights, and stuff. So we're here waiting. For So everything we got here, drinks and everything, chips, drinks, all was about 20 bucks. It was 20 03 in price. We even threw in a couple extra things at the end there. So you can get everything for under 20 bucks to do this little ceviche recipe. So we just exited the store. Everything we got was $20.03. Now we're actually off to Lake Mead to go catch some stripers. But wait. What if we don't catch a striper? Then we come back out tomorrow with the boat. <laughs> so we're at Lake Mead now. We're actually at the marina. I just want to take a quick moment of our time really quick to show you the species we're after. Striped bass. It's super windy though right now, but we'll make it work. So it's super windy out here, but the striped bass are in this marina like crazy. We're actually going to fish just outside of it, but really quick, let's just get a little bit closer to look at these bass. Alright, so that's the species we're after. Now we're just literally gonna head out right outside the marina where it's legal to fish and try to catch one. Just we just need one, just just one. So what we're gonna be using that as a cutting board today, we got a little king camp table right here. Just a miniature table. Instead of bringing out a cutting board, we brought this out uh, because just we'll make it a little bit easier having a little bit bigger platform to be able to sit everything on. This is a, an example of one of their tables that folds up small. It's not the biggest table, but it's plenty big for what we need today. So I put the good old trusty hat on real quick, but we're gonna go ahead and start cutting everything up and getting it ready. First thing we're gonna use are these little containers. That's what everything's gonna go into right there to cook. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up these lemons. We're just gonna go ahead and squeeze these lemons in there. So that's all the lemon we got. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut up an onion. So we're gonna go ahead and cut up the cilantro now. That should be plenty right there. All right, next is a tomato. Lastly, we're doing this avocado here. Any of these ingredients, if you don't like them, you can switch them out for anything. It's not real set in stone. The most important thing is that you got enough lemon in there to kind of support what you're doing. It's perfect, half an avocado right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some garlic salt in there. And then after this, the last ingredient we're gonna need is just fish. Before we get the fish, all we're gonna do is just close this up, give it a good little shake in there. So all this stuff in there kind of becomes comes one. Now, now when we catch that fish, this is our little mixture here. We're gonna go ahead and just throw the fish in there, then just get some chips and start eating it. That looks amazing, and I'll tell you guys what, smells amazing too. This is this is gonna turn out awesome. I can already tell. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to catch a, a striper. We're mainly going to be using swim baits, like little crank baits. I 
little status update. It's super windy out here. Can hardly even cast, and uh, there's moss everywhere. So I don't know if this is gonna work out. You gonna save the day, you? Yep, let's try. Hopefully, I can get one. But I don't know. It's really windy. There's ducks chasing my bait, crying out loud. Can we throw a duck in there? Cook a duck up? Mm, ducks to be chasing off pretty good. No, okay. <laughs> You want to catch one Jew or? Mm, I don't really know. I mean, there's always a possibility, but the chances are low right now with how windy it is. I don't want to go out skunk. Oh my. There's this turtle and I cast it towards it. Oh. You ever seen that before? I was like, look at that turtle. Ready or slider here. just caught this turtle on a crankbait, <laughs> a liveless crankbait. He was floating on the surface, I guess it ran by him and caught him. Well, that was a fail. What we're actually gonna do instead is we're just gonna go home now, and we're just still gonna make some striper ceviche. So we're home now, obviously we failed to catch the stripers. It was just a mixture of the wind, and also they just must not been there, because when it's super windy, you, know, you can't get your casts quite nearly as far. We ended up backlashing and got a turtle, though. that was pretty cool. But, to save this video, I do have some striped bass right here. Ooh. Yep, I got some striped bass. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some in our mixture here. The striper have been tricky lately though, Lake Mead. Lake Mead's just been weird all around. It don't matter if we're on boats or anything. It's just, I think it's because the shad, they just are starting to hatch so they're small. And the stripers are targeting really, really small shad. So that's why I think the issue is right now. But hopefully we'll get a couple tomorrow and we'll be able to finish this and actually do it while we're on the water. That'd be super cool, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this striper up really small, and because it's gonna take a couple hours to cook in this lemon, I'm just gonna eat it in the morning as like a breakfast kind of before we head out on the lake. So this striper right here, this one we caught at Lake Mojave when uh, they were boiling down there. Now personally, I've never made ceviche out of fish that's been frozen before, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. You still can do it. I'm not sure if it'll turn nearly as good as when it's fresh, but hey, I still want to show you guys just how the process goes. So now all I'm doing is I'm cutting them in really, really small pieces as you can see here. They're going to be going on chips. We're not just going to eat the ceviche by itself. We're going to eat it kind of like a dip. So you're going to want it to be able to fit on a chip. So we got our little ceviche mix here. All we're going to do is take this striper, these little chunks of striper we just cut, and throw them in that mixture. Now one thing you're going to want to make sure happens is as they get in there, all the all the fish is gonna have to be covered by the lemon because the lemon is ultimately what's gonna be cooking this fish so if your fish isn't under lemon then it's not gonna get cooked so what I like to do is I push it all down in a little container like this it's awesome because you can even close it up and just give it a good little mixing just to make sure it all kind of separates and mixes good now all the stripers under this is gonna go in the fridge now and I'll see you guys in the morning when it's ready to be eaten all right, so you guys know we didn't catch any stripers, but we let this sit overnight. Today I was working. I might look a little worn down, but just how it works, you know, when you're out in the heat and stuff. It's like 108 degrees today. It's crazy and windy. It's just weird weather, but we're going to go ahead and give this ceviche a try. I didn't put like a whole lot of time and effort into making this. If you guys want to see like a, a really, really good recipe, comment that down below and we'll actually take our time to show you guys like a step-by-step -step recipe on an awesome awesome ceviche this was supposed to be just out in the field you know nice little lunch it wasn't supposed to be nothing fancy but um ended up having to bring it home because as you guys know the bite was horrible it's been super windy but as soon as we can we'll go ahead and try to complete that challenge for you guys so this is what it looks like in the end it smells good looks good so the fish is sunk to the bottom making it kind of hard to grab it 
So I'm really quick just going to put some of this on a plate with this fork grabbing that fish. You guys can see that fish is a nice white. Let me see. Let me focus it for you. As you guys can see, if I can get a piece of fish. Oh yeah, right there. That that fish is a nice white. It even looks cooked. It don't really look raw anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on a plate and eat on some chips. We're going to go ahead and take a big piece of fish. I'm going to go ahead and throw some of that tomato on there. That onion. And yeah, some of that av uh, avocado. If I can get it all with one hand. Now this, once again, I said, very simple recipe. This costs less than $20. And uh, we even got add-ons. It was only $20.03. We all got drinks and everything. So very cheap recipe. Super simple. Let's see if it tastes good. For the price point, that's not bad at all. That tastes really good, actually. Now, one thing we did do, we didn't show, is we had a little bit of water. We had a little bit of water because we figured there might be just too much lemon. It might be a little bitter to the taste. So after it cooked right now, uh, not too long ago, I added probably a quarter's worth of water. So it was this tall, just about a quarter of the amount of water. And it kind of it tastes amazing. I'm going in for more. So if you guys want to try this, Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you do try it. And once again, like I said, if you want to see this recipe taken a little bit more in depth and maybe with different fish or something, um, go ahead and let me know that also. But as soon as we can, as soon as the stripers and the weather start participating, we're going to go ahead and make this out on the lake. Just a fresh, uh, fresh fish, fillet them right there on the water, throw them in the mixture, and he's going to be good. That'll be our lunch of the day. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see how it goes. I'm gonna choke right there. I wanted to throw it in my mouth and a piece of the fish just shot straight, it fell off the chip and shot straight down my esophagus. You're about to have to do the hind leg maneuver. Don't worry. I'm CPR qualified. Yeah, you're CPR certified. CPR certified and qualified. And maybe viral video, choking on ceviche. First time I'll ever have to do the hind leg maneuver. Making a video of ceviche.